open session? Yes. Uh, um, we are back in open session, and um, what what we discuss in open session, we will um, have a resolution um, in the next nine days. Okay. Um, um, also, I, could I have the record reflect like that Councilwoman uh, Carney called in. She's um, ill tonight. She had to go to the doctors. And did you hear from Kevin? Didn't Kevin advise you that he's teaching that class tonight? He will be here next week for sure, but he, tonight he could just couldn't get out of teaching that class. No, so he didn't. Tell, but okay, so he's out. Well, no, actually, he did ask me if he wanted to go to the doctor in the RERP class, which actually, I believe this year's mandatory. It's actually, not even just this year. For the last several years, it's been mandatory for government. So that means the officials have to go. are supposed yeah. to be there next week. This coming Friday night, please. 15th. 15th. Do you, know, do you know the exact time? 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. What, what is it? What? It's an RERP class. It's a radiological. Oh, I want to Exactly. It's a radiology. Yeah, we have to do it. Emergency. Yeah. That's the one they give you a little part. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Okay. Yes. What's the point? What is it? It's this coming Friday. Give me a second. 6 o'clock. And it's at the substation, isn't it? It's at the progress of management. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, RERP class, April 15th, 6.30 p.m. at the Mandatory Fire Company. FEMA requires attendance by elected officials. People have a small buffet, which gets me to most places. <laughs> Can you send us an email to all of us? Sure. I'd be happy. Okay, and it's this Friday. Okay. It's this Friday, the 15th, at 6.30 p.m., Manitoba Park Fire Company. It usually takes two hours, not even. It's usually a little less than two hours, okay. including the food. <laughs> okay, Mayor, yeah. other comments? Other comments? Yeah, Mayor Council, I'm um, afraid to see that they're going to knock that uh, little shell station down. And part of the uh, County Day 166 we got there, where all those boats are, that'll be gone. So it's just in, one in the courts now, that's one in uh, <coughs> the owner of the property. Now he's not the picture. His bill, so he's being put out, so that'll be clean up. Is that the yacht sales? 98 foot road, Fortin's property. You'll see a big improvement within two weeks. Uh, the fire marshal, we've been trying to get that place cleaned up for years, and we wasn't getting any cooperation from the beach reconstruction department and the fire marshal. So finally, the deputy fire marshal stepped in, built the tree, and we're getting action. There's uh, seven or eight warnings sent out there. Uh, we stopped going to see Mr. Boyd today. Uh, he said that would be two weeks we should start having that first clean up over there. So hopefully, I hope we'll get that 166 clean up. The section with the boats you referred to, Ernie, is that the yacht sales? Uh, no. Where, what, uh, the white building? Where, where the, the jet ski yeah, yeah, signs are? Yeah, okay. No, yeah. All those boats can move from out of town. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's got all the money from the yeah. yeah. And he's not meeting that his obligation, so Mr. Dickman has his attorney, Mr. Doll, taking care of that. So that should be taken care of. So hopefully between that building down and a couple of other things, we get a little decency going up there at 166. Thank yeah, thanks for your effort, Ernie. Thank you. Thank you, Ernie. We'll, we'll keep on top of it. If they don't get it, then the fire marshal will have to work, but it's not stopping right now. Because he's a deputy fire marshal. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We would like to reserve this for a session for future records. Discussion about the uh, meters prop, um, um, propping. Um, what, what I want to segue into is, is the, the attorney uh, for the uh, meters property. Um, Greg yeah, Greg. Um, we did this fine. We did yes. go. Um, we did uh, made a, a, an attempt to contact them, um, and to this day, at this hour, what time is it now? 8:30. 8:30. He still hasn't had responded uh, to the second. And so now Kevin said at the last meeting there's no calling. Do you have to do it? Um, Kevin, if I'm calling. Yeah. yeah. He didn't, didn't say it, but we have to hear from Kevin. I don't know if he called him or not. We don't have, nobody knows. Yes, sir. I actually saw him in the meeting. I told him to call Betty when she asked me. And he said, okay. <laughs> so, and he never did. Yeah, okay. 
Don't type this in, okay? <laughs> Mark Nutter tells him to call me. Everybody's been telling him to call me. He's, so, he's not taking my call. So we have given him uh, no divorce. Um, ample time to to respond. And so. Time's up, man. We're at zero hour. So at this point, we'll, 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 I would like to, to get the, the council's response uh, as far as whether or not we, we, we can go forward for. Um, for another attempt um, to take care of the middle part of the issue. Do I have a, do I have a vote on that or is a motion on that? A motion to appoint? Uh, motion to appoint. Do I have an attorney there? Do I have an attorney to okay. handle the middle part of the too much time has passed by and our current attorney has not has been uh, non responsive at this point. Okay, a resolution to appoint her. Um, you have the name. Uh, John Doyle. John Doyle, yes. Yeah. What, uh, we call him a special litigation attorney, attorney. correct? Special no. Are we appointed a special no, litigation attorney at the agreement? I don't recall. I don't know the table here. We did what we did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because we wanted to be able to. So you're, you're talking about this is all the way back. This only? They're, they're rates twice what we charge. That's why I'm asking. So I don't know if, if you before you appoint it, you want to make sure you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'll call him tomorrow. Okay, call him tomorrow. Actually, so that being the case, can we take the request for your appointment yes. until next week? Mm -hmm. If I mean, it's okay with you all, I will get out. I will get in touch with Craig. I, 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 I wasn't sure. aware of it. Yeah, well, I, I, I wasn't aware of this. But, but my understanding is Doyle's firm does not represent Mr. Powers anymore. So it represents only private. Entities against the municipality. So that was, uh, I have all the information that was still out of the chair when you said that. Yeah. No, so, uh, <laughs> no, the thing is, we did contact him, and then he um, I indicated that he is uh, in a position to represent municipalities. Um, and he used to be our municipal attorney. Yeah, oh, clearly. Right? He did, before yeah. he was with the Carluccio firm, they did a lot of them. Yeah, I don't know anything yeah. about him, so I don't. I'm not making motion to yeah, because basically what we're trying to do, we got to talk with them. I don't, I don't we got to, it has to end somewhere because yeah, it's, 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 it's an ongoing it's thing and nothing is being done and it's actually push, pushing up, us up against the wall because yeah. there's nothing being done. And maybe we can't yeah. come up with a, 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 a somebody recommending yeah. you know, yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it'll be gone. Right. 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 Actually, you know, it's in advance. So before right. you yes. Well, okay. you want to find out that that's, this, that's that's reasonable. Reasonable. It, this yeah, might be a topic for executive session, but so let me go see the thing. Yeah, so, so my understanding from Greg is that's a monumental file. So, and that's why I don't know that I can devote the time or the effort to it, and I've said that before to you. Mm -hmm. So, what I, what I hate to see you do is hire some firm that charges you $10,000 right. just to review right. what happened in the past. Well, so I think what, you need to find out, are you built, built for reviewing all the stuff that's done in the past? Mm -hmm. You know, what exactly needs to be done? No one's ever told me that. I don't know, which is why I'm looking to handle it. I don't know what needs to be done there. I don't know what the issues are. I'm not sure anybody does. Uh, you know, he's paid his taxes through all of 2011. Uh, and it, I'm sorry, not his taxes, his, 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 his proposed lease. lease. Not There's not no lease, lease, but he's paying rent. Yeah, it's expired, but, yeah. but we're accepting it. For so, so, you know, I, I, I've always thought that there's a lot of issues there that, you know, my point, my view is that I would represent you if I could achieve a positive result for you. And I, I'm not comfortable saying that, and that's why I respectfully decline to, to handle that issue. Um, but I think you should make sure that... I understand. You know, I think that's a good We're talking about $10,000 for the ambulance. We can use it to about $50,000 for that day. So, um, yeah, that's reasonable. What would make the fee that the governing body would be paying? One twenty-five an hour? Well, obviously, we set the hourly rate, but you should also, if you, if you do it by resolution with a cap not to exceed whatever you feel right. comfortable with, and then if it's going to exceed that, you come back and say, well, we've done this amount of work. Here's what my plan is to go forward. So, you know, of course, you, you hate to spend a ton of money and right. get nothing out of it. Well, since you're in this line of work, uh, can you give us an idea of what would be reasonable uh, to look for in case you give us a figure? Uh, we'll, well, the hourly rate is the first thing I want to say. Oh, that's that, what you pick the cap, you know, 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, you know, not to exceed that. And then, then if you exceeds that, you, I think what you should get first is you get someone to summarize the situation for you, tell you what the situation is and what their proposal is going forward. And I, I don't understand why 
someone from Greg's firm that hasn't done that for you, but they haven't. They haven't. Well, and if we're going to table this one next week, I'm fairly confident that I can at least get 